hello and welcome to my channel this is lady day or you can just call me day welcome to the healing butterfly channel um, i am an overall intuitive reader as well as a medium this particular reading um, we'll be discussing what the f is going on in my love life whether you're single, you're in a situationship, um, whatever, what have you. So, um, <laughs> got dings and bells out of nowhere. So I will say the song that I um, received right before starting this recording was Fumble by Trey Songs. If it means something, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Please don't try to make a storyline fit that's not yours. You'll just end up frustrating yourself or possibly jacking yourself up making the wrong decision because you think you know something that you don't know. Um, so let's just get into it. So the questions that we will ask today, and I see that the, the cards, wow, the bottom of the deck is not for you. I just noticed my whole deck was upside down. So I don't know if you feel like you're, again, I just feel like your world is upside down. Something didn't, something's not right. <laughs> and there goes the tower card. So not for you. And then you have um, regeneration, which is the tower card in this particular deck. So we will be asking for three questions and then we'll get into the butterfly kisses. If you are familiar with my butterfly kisses, they're messages to and from your divine partner. So it can be things that you're trying to energetically send to them or things that they're trying to energetically send to you. Messages of love, of lust, or other, as well as time frames throughout the year, um, age ranges, and initials of their post of their name that could possibly be their name or your name. So just another way to confirm your divine partner. So the first question we'll ask is, what the fuck is going on in my life? What is going on in my love life? Why is the current state, whether that, again, whether you're single or not, I used to do singles versus couples, but we're just going to deal with the elements this time around. Um, stick with me. I'll get back into doing couples versus singles. But for now, there's a lot of energy moving around. We're in retrograde. <laughs> and I just, I just want to be able to get the messages out because they're flooding in. Um, so the current state, so WTF is going on with my love life. Um, what lessons do I need to learn and take action on? And then the um, out possible outcome three months down the line is what I always ask spirit for. So we will get into it. This is for the Aries, Leo, and Sag. Again, single, situationship, married, whatever, what have you, just dating. This is, I'm going to take that. So the current state, um... <laughs> tell people all the time you can call me as crazy as you want but i can't make it up you sat here and seen my hands i sat here and shuffled and the same two cards just came out not for you and, re and regeneration so let's get into it let's get into it um hmm not for you something I, i'm gonna just say it like it is um if you know me you know i don't hold no punches and i really don't want a 20 30 minute video let's get to the point of it right um Something was not for you. Something, and, and I'm hearing, oh, I hear you. Oh, you like, so, okay. First of all, let me first state that spirit is here. I feel like you also have some ancestors that are here because I'm getting a very sassy um, female right now. So a matriarch in your family. Um, that may be a mother, that may be a grandmother, that just may be an aunt, or that just may be a neighborhood. I'm hearing, maybe there was a neighborhood, and I got this last time when I was doing the, the last reading for the month of June. For divine masculines there's like a neighborhood lady for some of you whether that was like the neighborhood candy lady the neighborhood lady who will let y'all swim in their pool i'm hearing the neighborhood lady who will let you play in their backyard whatever it was there's like a neighborhood lady that you looked at as a mother figure who may not be here who may have gone on um and it was like they like the, what i'm hearing is they like to play games oh no they like to play games they like this type of thing so whatever it was that you were playing around with that you knew was not for you and i'm also getting some i've never gotten this in this card in this card, you see that there's a person's hand holding this up. And it's like the fortune was already kind of told to you that it was going to be like, this is a fool's journey to play this game. And there was a door opening for you. But you know, you were, it was like you knew the door was there. But you were like, oh, I want to play around a little bit before I walk through. And that may have caused a tower in your life. That may have halted something that was growing. 
you'll see the divine's face is in this card but the divine's face if you can see it and i never noticed this myself it's also if you can see it in the back here the whole time the divine was watching and waiting for you waiting to see what you were going to do and at the bottom of the deck is exchanging gifts i'm also hearing you gave the, the wrong thing to the wrong person if that makes any any sense so i want to get some clarity so let's clarify these cards. I'll just ask for hopefully one and it'll, <laughs> that came through. Mm, child. Fair, <laughs> you something else. <laughs> You're so dumb. I'm telling y'all, when you, when you really decide to ascend and connect with your spirit guides, it is just such a journey. It's like the best friends ever. Anyways, clarify this please for me, Spirit. May I have one card to clarify? What's going on? Fire signs, Leo's, Aries, and Sag. Now, listen here. Okay, so we have the wheel <laughs> at the bottom. And again, the wheel is turning. It all depends on your decisions. You have free will to do as you please in this world. But if you make a decision to play around with something that's not for you, yeah, the tower that's coming is going to come because it's not for you. At the, end of the, at the end of the day, the divine has a purpose over your life. The divine has a purpose over everyone's life. The divine has a purpose for this world, for this realm. And you're one person, I'm not going to say you because you could be a cross watcher. I don't know. But one person's decisions is not going to make God say, well, you know what? Go ahead and just let him do what he want to do. No, your free will will still... It's going to brush up against God's divine divine plan either way. It's either going to be for it or it's going to be against it. And if it's against it, anyways, the will, a fresh new start or the end of delays, sudden or unexpected changes, I'm sorry, progress, as well as changes, a very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle, the ace of wands, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. And I feel like you're passionate for something, but it may not be what you chose. Or you're passionate for something and you need to walk away from something so that you can choose what you're passionate for. And not only that, then we have the Queen of Wands. Hello, Fire Signs. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. So, I'm not sure. <laughs> Are you dating a... a... Mm -hmm. Were you dating a queen of swords? Were you dating an air sign? Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, because I have here someone who, a, a, a very beautiful, talented, intelligent female, or yourself, who went kind of cold and distant for money. Like it's almost like maybe, or maybe you were the Eight of Swords, mental conflict somewhere, some way, somehow, um, about this particular union, wrapping yourself up in false thoughts for what you know you were passionate about. Again, this may be the person that you're currently, I'm sorry, okay, the person that they're currently with may not be the person that they're passionate about. That's what Spirit just said. The person you're with is probably not the person that you're this passionate about. I'll also ask for some love or um, one love oracle card to um, give further clarity to each lane as well. So let's get into that and see what comes out. Two, two, two. Okay, so I, maybe I need to be asking for two cards. I was only going to do one and try to keep the video short, but when the spirit wants to talk, we're already at nine minutes. And I only have one question in, so I, I ain't rushing. I'm not rushing, spirit. <laughs> Don't rush me. May I have two cards to clarify what is the current state of... Wow, okay. Now, oh my gosh. Bottom. <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of the deck. The first card that came out is called Love Call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So there's obviously someone that you want to call or want to talk to. Self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So have you been doing that? Have you been doing some shadow work? Getting into self, figuring out what you, what you're, maybe even trying to figure out 
who you're at the bottom of the deck, your twin flame is. Yin and yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So you're looking for something. You're looking, and behind that is the soulmates. So you have a twin flame and you have a soulmate in your life right now. And that's probably why you're, you, you may, that might be why you decided to play the game. You wanted to see who the best opponent was. Uh, I don't like any of that. So what I'm going to say here, I'm going to wrap that first question up with um, the current state is that you're with someone or you're doing something that you know that you're not, you're not supposed to be. But because you liked it and you enjoy the game, you're kind of playing with the fate of the will. And you're going to end up, you may not end up in the best situation. There is a passionate new beginning that wants to come into your life. But until you answer the call and jump out of yourself, yes, it's good to focus on yourself. It's good to focus on your money. It's good to focus on your shadow work and becoming better. But when the love is calling and it's, you know it's God that's calling you, you have to answer that call or you have to deal with what comes out after that. So let's get into the lesson and actions. What lessons and actions should you be taking? There's an amazing opportunity waiting for you, but I, I don't know if you if you didn't make a call, that you need to make a call, or if you're not answering God's call when he's telling you who's who. So next, what are the lessons and actions for, for the fire sign when it comes to love? Mm, mm, mm. Thank you. Mm. The first card out was the Ace of Coins, the Ace of Pentacles. And look at that. They have ugh, a one fall of abundance, wise counsel, or good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or vehicle. There's definitely a new life that's supposed to be coming in for you. And I'm very ecstatic because I can feel it. I feel it wanting to come into your life. I'm not really sure what may be causing a little stagnation outside of maybe some mental conflict. The Four of Swords. Insights that come from meditation, the need to take rest or a vacation, allow yourself more time before making a decision, mental exhaustion, get more sleep. So again, I feel like you need to make a decision, but maybe you're not sure who to choose. And I don't know how we got there before we even got into the um, wisdom of the oracle, but we're going to go ahead and get it out anyways, because I, I, it's, oh, one, one, something fell. That's funny. Excuse me, I'm on my exercise ball, I'm not farting. But the card that fell out is called Breathe, and let me to show you the mirror image there it's definitely time for you to go within and at the bottom of the deck was flexible be flexible with the decision that you're getting ready to make be flexible with yourself um it looks like you do need some time away and i'm hearing away from things away from people so if there's someone that's trying to force their opinion on you about the situation it's like you need to take your time away from everybody and everything anyone who may have anything to say with this situation and just you and the divine just need to make some time take some time together and there's also at the bottom of the deck they're telling me um the five of cups Focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated. Forgiveness of self or others. Everything happens for a reason. Look look for the hidden blessing. So again, there's there might have been something that fell apart that you thought that you were going to get that's not for you. Something that you thought was going to pay you out big. But yes, there is a big blessing coming and what you feel is right, but it's not the way that you're going. And I don't believe it's the decision that you originally made. And I have two cards, current lessons and actions for the fire signs. Thank you, spirit. Wow. Ugh. Oh my gosh, fire signs. New life. Like I said, there's a new life coming for you. You have an unfinished symphony with your soulmate, with your twin flame. Let me be clear. I know some people, my thing is this, a soulmate can be anybody. That can be a friend, that can be a lover, that can be a mother, that can be a father, that can be anybody. That's somebody that came on your soul, on your mission to ignite your soul for a reason. But when it comes to your twin flame, the person that's supposed to, they're supposed to trigger all your shadow points so that you grow and become the person that you're supposed to be. Your soul grows to the level that it's supposed to be and completing the symphony that God wrote over your life. There's a new life here for you. Regeneration into new life is, that's just, I burn, I'm burning down all the weeds. I'm burning down all the drama. I'm burning down everything that doesn't serve you any purpose and burning and birthing you into a new life. You need to go within higher power. Like I said, this go the distance and mend the situation. So, okay, so you must have cut out your twin flame. <clears throat> you cut out your twin flame and the higher power is telling you, go back, go. You need to go the distance and mend the situation because the milk and honey and the loyal heart. Come on now, fire signs. Because it's no because you want to go home. You want to go home. No place like home. Why did I do what I did? 
You had a deep knowing of what you did was going to cause conflict and chaos. Come on now. We don't, mm, let's move on. You know what you need to do. And you know, and you know the new life that's coming for you. Meditate on that unfinished symphony and be ready for that new life. Make the decision. I'm also hearing um, uh, face your fears. So maybe you have a fear of rejection from this person now. I don't know. Whatever fear you have about moving, about this time, it's time to go to the loyal heart. I'm thinking, I'm also guessing that this other love or other interest, whether this is work or whatever is taking you away from this twin flame, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be another person. Whatever is taking you away from your twin flame, um, I think you already know it's not going to serve your highest purpose. So possible outcome, three months, three months, possible outcome. First card, first card out was the higher power. So at the end, okay, so Spirit is saying very clearly, at the end of the day, the higher power is going to get its will. The will of the Lord or, or, or the Lord of God will be done. Period. Imagine. And again, time to go. At the bottom of the deck is chopped wood. So yeah, there's Treasure Island and Serendipity. So, yes, there's going to be, if you, <laughs> imagine the higher power, imagine God taking you to another level. Imagine God freeing you of all of these burdens. Imagine yourself really no longer having to hold on to what people just give you, I'm hearing, or what you think that you're worth, or you just take the bare minimum, be, or something about you not maybe feeling worthy or responsible enough. Like, I'm okay, what I'm seeing is like... Someone holding like a really rare piece of white crystal and trying to like hand it over. But like somebody is just so hesitant. Like, I don't, how do I, how am I supposed to take care of this thing? How am I supposed to, you know, work with this thing or something? But yet you know that it's time. Whatever it is, you know that you're dealing with maybe a delicate flower. Two cards, please. There it is. That's exactly it. Okay, King of Wands. Hello, King of Wands. <laughs> motivational inspiring theatrical ambitious take a leadership role step into the spotlight public speaking keeping your eyes on the bigger picture communicate your vision don't be sensitive to criticism ah uh, don't be okay you, okay let me say this real quick three months from now maybe it will take you a little while to to gain the the, the confidence to finish the symphony to make that phone call and i didn't pull any cards here but we will to make that phone call to connect with this other person it may but it is time for you to step into that that leadership role that taking charge that fire energy action passion you know things of that that way but yet you think it's too hard working too hard or too many hours the need for balance in life let others help you health problems due to stress i'm getting this two ways you think maybe you think it's going to be too much work it already has been too much work but i feel like it's like okay yeah but let me say this i don't know what sis is or is not doing to make herself feel like she is wor like worn out Yes, she's an older woman, but everything, there's nothing out in this pasture that's growing. Yet she's, I don't know where the hell she even got all these wands and all this trouble. And it's like you, she collected this shit and decided to keep holding on to it. If I had a basket outside, I'm thinking that I'm collecting laundry, I don't know, produce, apples, corn, something. She just has a, a basket full of her own troubles. And maybe that's what it is. You're carrying a basket of your own troubles and it's hindering you from moving forward because you're like, I'm already carrying all this other bullshit. Why would I want to get into something to carry more bullshit? But there's nothing but green pastures back here. And not only that, but these green pastures are already cut. The lawn is taken, taken care of. So this person that you're connecting with may be someone who already takes care of themselves. Like they already have their own things going on and, and it seems like they're like the star at the bottom of the deck. Have the faith, the, have faith, the future is bright. Dreams come true, positive changes that bring an end to challenging times, the light at the end of the tunnel. And then behind that again is the five of cups because you're focusing on the negative. You're focusing on the wrong thing. So in order for you to, I, I'm really feeling like the, the next three months is in the balance of what you decide because we all have free will. You can decide to take passion and, and move on and, and get that unfinished symphony, that life that you've always imagined the higher power blessing you with. 
or you might stay stagnant and stuck in this this is too hard and i don't need to be dealing with this or something like that why would i put more drama i don't is somebody else saying that to you i mean feel like this is a you talking to yourself i feel like it's like an outside party saying you don't need the extra drama and stress you don't need to be running around or something like that or maybe you're telling yourself either way i got to move on because that is just too much people getting in other people's business stay in your lane other people business anyways um clarify the lessons and actions with two cards please spirit for the fire the fire, the fire signs <laughs> the first card out was lightning Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So that comes back also to the regeneration card that you may have um, in this meditative set uh, moment. You may have gotten an epiphany that this that this other person was your your new life, was your unfinished symphony. The other is hand of cards. Take a chance, risk being strategic options, not showing your hand in gambling. At the bottom of the deck is palm tree. Stability, security, permeance, growth, endurance, and flexibility. And flexibility came out earlier. So again, be flexible about this situation because... Also, don't mirror... Don't, don't mirror whatever it was that somebody else brought into your life. If you walked away and you started dating someone else and you gathered some other frustrations there, don't... Don't... It's like, okay, let's say we have, to, again, I'm going to do this quick. Two people, let's say one person, they used to always nag you about never being home, and the other person used to nag you about, um, I don't know, cleaning up the dishes or something like that. And it's like, you know, you go back to the person who asked you to clean the dishes, you're like, but I'm home, though. It's like, but I never said that you weren't home, if that makes any sense. Two cards, spirit, clarified, next three months. Two cards. Mm, okay. And they gave me three. Alrighty. The golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message of, arrives, text, call, email, hovering. So again, you need to make the contact. I feel like you need, or the one needs to make the contact. Or there might be some separation. It might be separation now. It might be separation in three months. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Boat, kisses, cassette. So you, yeah, I think it's you that are reminiscing. You want to, you may want to bring this back around um, with this person. But I feel like you're the one who may need to have the, the outreach. So we're going to end. Um, okay, thank you, Spirit. They're like, so I was... <laughs> I usually never end without a message directly from spirit because outside of all this, what's going on with my love? What's going on with my career? What's going on here? What's going on there? Outside of all of that, um, it's always best for you to always give to yourself. Uh, keep ascending. Keep becoming wiser. Get your prayers in. Get your meditation in. Spend time with self. Spend time with God, with spirit, with your spirit God, whomever you may channel or talk to. It's always good. So we're just going to get a card of meditation, especially with the meditation and breathe coming out in your... Let's get one card of meditation, an affirmation card for the spirit, highest affirmation card for the Okay, we'll take both. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is reach for your dreams. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. Gratitude. I am grateful for everyone and everything in my life and the lessons each bring. Ooh, solar plexus chakra. I take actions daily that awaken my personal power. Come on, come through spirit. Work on that solar plexus. Real talk. Work on that solar plexus. Let's go clean this up a bit. We'll get you the butterfly kisses, which are going to be messages to and from your divine partner. Also, other, um, as far as like initials of their names, the seasons of the year that maybe they came into your life or maybe something significant will be taking place. Also, um, age ranges that they may be in. So, let's just see what comes out.
for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag, for the divine partner, and for the same. What is it? For the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. What is their divine partner have to say to them? What do they have to say to the divine partner? Bottom of the deck is throat chakra. So again, it's it's definitely you that needs to talk. Or that wants to talk. 50 plus years old. I know your secrets. Confess. I'm truly sorry. I can't make it. Oh, excuse me. Solar plexus chakra. You definitely need to get your get some action up under your butt. Wow, fire sign. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Like, come on. Soft music and candlelight. Candle and soft music and candlelight. 18 to 25 years old. Root chakra. This is too toxic for me by your person may have said that. 69, so that may be in summertime. So maybe sometime this summer, crown chakra, you'll get an intuitive thought that this is your person. Fire and desire, which is my fire sign card, which is funny that the fire sign actually came out. And then, so this is your reading fire sign. I wish you were here with me right now. My silence is just another word for my pain, which I think is coming from you. Get your narcissistic ass together, which I think is coming from your person. The way that thing jiggled, though, whether you're the female or they're the female, they like that ass. N as in Nancy or Q as in Queen, initials of their name are yours. Fifty shades, pinch, honey, choke, suck, cuff, slap, lick. So, yeah, you must have some passionate sex with this person. And the last is give me time, I'm healing. So that may be you saying that to your divine partner that you need more time because you're healing. I hope that this resonated with you. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Give me some feedback. Um, if you're looking for a personal reading, don't hesitate to reach out to me. The information is in the details below. I appreciate you all. Love, healing, blessings, and light to you. Go out and do something wonderful today. Like meditate on that solar plexus. <laughs> Sending y'all so much light and love. Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you soon.